A lot of players are starting to hate me because I am one of those mage players that is slowly and truly making you fall in love with Indus. Yes, not Lilia, she is a powerhouse, don't get me wrong, but today's video is actually going to highlight more on the Indus side of the game and if she is good with T4. So let's get into today's gameplay with Indus Lilia rocking against some Dora T5. Hello guys, yes, smash the like button and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaker. And we're going to quickly just run down the big heroes so you understand what we're talking about and why maybe you should be considering using Indias in today's game of God of Dragons, especially if you're free to play or a low spender, because you can obviously obtain her for free through the Dragon Trials. It will take a little bit of time, but once you get her, I promise you at a 5155 state minimal, you are good to go. I promise you. The only benefit you're going to get with that awakening is, honestly, is really good. The extra one second on her beautiful three second infirm trigger, which is really, really good. But the thing which I really want to talk about and why I've been using them more isn't honestly on this infirm. And don't get me wrong, this is one of the biggest parts of her kit. But it's actually the fact that I have a ton. And I mean a ton of survivability with this hero. Because when you run in this with any of your heroes, you're going to get that 50% counter attack damage reduction. You're also going to get 20% HP plus that March cap on top. And obviously, because we're applying infirm and healing our surrounding units, you're going to notice you will sustain for quite a long time on the battlefield. And especially if you compare this and pair her up with some certain heroes. I am going to go through one in a future video, but Aphius with Indus is surprisingly good because it becomes a rage engine just designed to imply, you know, the infirm. But here we're going to use Lelia because this is my other expertise hero. And if I had Valen, I was going to do it the same. I haven't got Valen expertise yet. So I don't want to give you guys false info on that. But Lilia has been a fantastic combo, surprisingly, with Indus because of the amount of damage we deal plus the score triggers also getting benefits out of that infirm. So let's go into the report first and showcase what the report looks like and then you can go into the gameplay and understand everything from that report now because you're going to see some really good, honestly, PvP footage. And this is the report we got from our fight that we're going to showcase in a moment, 37.8k merits. Yes, you are not looking wrong, not 10,000, not 20,000, almost going on to 45 thousand damage dealt or merits again should i say for my march here and you can see i have a bunch of people i'm fighting through and this is the one thing people might be looking at like you're not fighting proper marches but if you look everything i am hitting is generally meta marches even the majors even some canara and syndrome you can see all the way through right but the one thing you will always notice, no matter what, is when I'm trying to, I am always focusing down some infantry units first. That's just to generate myself some rage. And then I start applying it onto these other enemies. So you can see here, I did a nice 3.5k damage. And then with these kind of guys where I was just able to charge up and deal a decent amount of damage to them as well, you can notice I'm able to straight away just go onto this next guy and just deal masses of damage. So you can see even when you're only running Lilia as the damage dealer guys, I'm able to deal 8.6k sev wounds, which I think is kind of scary with one hero dealing damage, while the other hero is basically the tank and the support of this match. So with all of this, let's go into the gameplay now and showcase how I was using this and honestly, the other match that did not no way near compared to the same amount of merits. And welcome to the gameplay side of it. And this is where we are going to showcase that report. So this is where we fought and this is where we got 37k merits from, right? So I'm running Indis and Lilia, and my other march I'm running is a Bertrand Fear. And the Fear isn't expertise, guys. It's only five, like, two three three or something like that so we're going to be rocking these two marches because my others are in keeps trying to defend this zone and this honestly is a chaotic area you can see there is a necro giant they are trying to push through and you're probably wondering what you're supposed to be doing in this scenario 
So a lot of players, if you're really, really weak or you're a bit scared, you might stand where I'm at here just to wait for your other marchers, obviously, to get closer. And what you could be doing is actually dealing damage to that Necro Giant just to generate a little bit of rage ready for when you're going into the actual fight. But you'll notice I opt straight away to move into the main murder ball and start fighting, right? And you can see my Bertrand already in position, nicely sat in the back, and you're going to see me focus firing right and this is kind of the game mode i'm talking about and i know in the comments you guys are asking how can you do this on mobile honestly it's the exact same thing you just need to if you're you have phone devices like this just click it press it and then drag and you can drag and keep dragging like this basically and it's a nice fluid movement once you get into it right and we showcase this on the call of dragons discord too so it is able to be done on mobile and pc right so now my Indus and my Lilia is in combat now. They're in combat with this. And you're going to notice one very key thing I personally do. And I was kind of wanting to make this into a VOD review of my own gameplay, right? But it was such a good gameplay, I couldn't honestly fault too much of it. Apart from some mistakes on targeting and obviously moving a little bit back, which you will see, right? But you'll notice every time I get a kill, I normally kill someone and i move i kill and i move even though i'm moving closer to this necro giant you'll notice i'm always killing someone and moving all the time because by moving so much basically the players and i know of door players do it because i get targeted 24 7 as soon as i start appearing a little bit out of the murder ball they will target you right if you're just out of the position out of any time you're going to get targeted so this is why it's really good to get these kills get into a good position and just start raining terror and you can see where i'm at right now no one's actually coming at me right and i'm able just to go at it and you can see me just firing and firing and firing and just these guys I'm not going to lie, I don't know what the Dora Infantry players were doing here because their backline was not pushing with their frontline nowhere near as aggressive as we would have thought, right? Because if they did, this would have been a very, very scary push. But you can see these guys coming in one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And even when we're looking at this view, you can see even this guy walking towards the keep, the poor wild deer and taking so much damage, right? So if you've noticed so far, my marches have been very, very healthy, right? They're still so healthy in this because I'm just instantly dragging and I'm just targeting whoever is closest, right? And sometimes you get out of position and sometimes you're going to die, right? And that happens. And sometimes your murder ball might be weaker than the enemies and they're going to, you know, punish you for it. If you are focused firing correctly, I promise you, you're going to deal some damage. And this, in this Lilia, is very good. Because for me, what I'm going to talk about a little bit more about this match now is the power of it. Because the thing is, my Indus is obviously going to be cooking, right? My Indus is cooking with the Lilia. She is making the Lilia do 20% extra damage from all of her sources. But the beautiful thing is, I'm applying that debuff onto a target legion right and the fact that if it's a couple of legions around they're also gaining that infirm buff meaning guess what my alliance members around me are also going to be dealing extra damage to that target because they have been implied with an infirm debuff similar to how like a poison turret would do it right and this is really good because i actually get so much benefit out of it and also do my alliance members. So I really do enjoy actually running this. And I've been slowly and surely running this more and more often. And I am going to make a special video coming up in the next couple of days. So just keep an eye out for it. That is going to be my mage setup for a T4 player. How I ran if I ran just a singular march, two marches, three marches, and in the crazy scenario, which you might not think I can do, but we did. Four mage marches because if you're running Arcane Torrent as your seasonal talent, like I have been doing, I'm not gonna lie, your mages do some insane great damage, insanely great damage because it's so consistent that you get a flat buff and you get this rage generation out of combat that you honestly do benefit from it, even in these types of situations where you're waiting around trying to pick for kills and you just can't grab them, right? So I hope you guys have been enjoying the gameplay side of things, obviously, as I've been explaining this match and obviously my opinions and kind of my philosophy when it's been using this too. But you can see I am very aggressive with it and I'm not 
you know, scared to hide. And you can see now right on the tip of this murder ball trying to stop Dora from pushing up on the north side towards our um, northern FS um, Alliance Fortress. And as soon as we can get that, guess what? We're back into normal mode. And you can see here why I generally as well don't use this kind of mode because it's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you, understand which one of these targets right close on the Dora's murder ball is the right target right and i don't want to be doing that that's why you see me a lot of the time when it comes to pvp zooming out getting them more accurate information and knowing who is the closest target because then i'm not out of position right so this has been the fight so far this has been going through you can see i'm starting to now hit into the orange of this whole bar right and this has been almost six minutes of fighting and if we start skipping through you're going to start to see we're going to keep going on. And this is over, by the way, 10 minutes now worth of fighting. So now this is technically a 10 minute mark. I've been fighting straight for 10 minutes and they are getting low. Look how low my marches are getting. However, I'm still pumping out damage. And it's crazy how much damage I'm still able to pump out and how much pressure I'm still allowed to apply because... Technically, even if my Lydia isn't doing damage, guys, and there's some other Alliance members, you know, with higher troop counts, it's like I said earlier, that Infirm is going to benefit them, right? So it's so good. And honestly, I think this is one of the best matches a lot of free spare players could be running. You could probably run this in some sort of a capacity where you run a Alloin with an Indus. And I'm going to try that out because I've got a very spicy in uh, Alloin build that I'm going to be using to see if this is potentially very meta defining with an alloin in this with all of your other mage marches that you will be running right so we can see now they've dropped down that thunder rock earlier and we're constantly fighting right we're now into the red zone and we're finishing up to the last points of the fight and when i am trying to be kind of useful for my team still you can see look i'm in the red i can't really get kills but what i can do is try and deal damage to this Thunderog, because if you have the tier of Arbon, like I have equipped on my Bertrand, you're gonna see, I can actually just heal up my troops. So my troops are now 5,000, now they're going over 6,000, and hopefully they're gonna hit over 7,000, right? So in theory, if I wanna stay in the fight and Dora will constantly drop in Behemoths, I could just keep hitting these Behemoths, not take any damage from them, and guess what? I'm just going to heal back up every one and a half minutes through that tier of Arbon and maybe from a potentially allies doing the same thing, right? So it's a really good little bit of, you know, footage there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and showcased, like, some really good PvP because while I was doing this, I know a lot of YouTubers and streamers were all watching it and they could not believe that report that got sent to them. So I thought, you know what? I'll make this side into a specific video, into, you know, what we're doing, how it was played, so you can see it from my personal point of view, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, right? So, that pretty much is it, and you can see, when we get to the merits, these are the merits, and this is what was scary, guys, because I have a Bertrand Atheist, actually, not Bertrand and Fear, I have my Bertrand Atheist, which is even stronger, in my opinion, for my own account, it does 23.1k damage. But somehow, my Leah on her own did 37.8k damage. So it is just mesmerizing. So I could imagine in the future running like an Indus Lilia with my Waldea, Valen, and obviously like Bertrand and Atheist. That's such an easy free to play kind of friendly comp if you've got access to the Lilia. If you're not, you would switch that out. I will admit to A and something else. But. It's great, right? It's really great. And I think this is going to give a lot of people, especially UT4 players, you free to play players, low spenders, hope, right? Because if you are playing really well, like I was doing in that footage, and you could see me constantly moving um, throughout this, you know, dealing damage, moving, dealing damage, moving, and I was always repositioning. As long as you can do that, you can see you can actually deal some really, really good merits for your account. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It has been me, Mesa Sneaker. This has been Indus and Lilia. Do you think it is going to be a new meta? Do you reckon it's a meta defining match for default players and low spenders? Let me know in the comments below how you think about Indus. And until the next video, stay safe, guys. Stay sneaking. Peace out.